What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to give you a quick look around my fridge and pantry to give you guys an idea of every single thing I'm consuming. And this helps when you're sourcing ingredients, getting everything high quality, as well as you know, eliminating things that could be causing problems in your diet. You know, if you're only eating 10, 15, 20 foods, what could really be the culprit? And it's really broken down into protein, fats, and carbohydrates pretty simply, but let me show you guys. Uh, so in my fridge for the past week, I've been cutting steaks off of a ribeye roll. So only my family does this shit. Come on. Like who puts a loose fucking egg on top of it? Like whatever. But uh, I take a ribeye roll from Frankie's Street Range Meat, cut the steaks off over the course of a week. And then, you know, I'll go down and grab another one whenever I need it just to minimize space in the fridge. Because none of this is really mine besides the cauliflower, which I will have on occasion with some of my meals. On to the rest of the kitchen. You guys have seen me show you these cookies many, many times. We have a recipe, Hitomi's Vegan Cookies. You can search for that on my channel. Uh, recently, this past week, I've been making some garlic bread. Uh, when I made those croutons for the Caesar salad, I really, really like them. So I bought more bread, and what I'll do is I'll take uh, some garlic-infused oil, you know, just saute garlic and garlic powder for like five minutes, and then let it infuse overnight. I put the oil back in the jar, so I'll drizzle this garlic oil on the bread, a little more garlic powder, a little bit of salt, throw that in the oven for a little bit, and I'll have that with pasta to have a nice chubby Italian boy meal. But while we're over here, we have the lemons that we're putting in the water kefir, I have some of the organic garlic that I use for that garlic oil, and this is all of the second ferment water kefir that I have right now. So I'll take water kefir out of the first ferment, put more sugar in it, and then it'll sit in these bottles, and it's highly, highly carbonated. It'll actually you know, kind of start exploding after two or three days, which is a good sign. It means things are working, and if I don't have this in my diet, guys, my gut health really goes down the tube. You know, I'm still kind of recovering from the liver issues, so water kefir incredibly important component. Uh, Frankie's Two Range Foods, we have the water kefir grains. And if you guys really, really want to, I can sell you water kefir like this. I'm not really sure what I'd have to charge for a bottle this size. I mean, just the filtered water costs $2, another few dollars to, uh, to make it, and then that doesn't even include the shipping cost. So I'm thinking at least $15 for each of these bottles. Let me know if you guys would be willing to pay that. But in this is the water kefir grains, sugar, molasses, and then some lemons to keep the acidity correct and add a little bit of flavor. Next to that garlic oil, we have just the regular oil I used to cook, the molasses and sugar I just mentioned for the kefir, and I also use the sugar for the cookies. I just have some salt back there. Uh, that's my sourdough fermentation. I have to really make you guys the burger buns this week. And then there we have just some mastic gum and some digestive enzyme powder that I will have with every meal. Uh, we did a video on H. pylori last week. We did a video on my secret enzyme formula. And we'll also show you guys this again next week when I do my day of eating. So I ran out of the pasta that I like eating, but I still have some a little more affordable. This is the organic spaghetti from Whole Foods, which is still made with durum wheat semolina, and it tastes pretty good. And this is, I think, $1.50 or $2 compared to the you know $5 or $6 one I buy, which I enjoy the flavor of a little more, but this still gets the job done. So... You know, with the ribeye, the garlic bread, and spaghetti, and NL, you guys saw what I did with this with the ground beef. But what I'm doing now is boil this in salt, then I just toss it in a bowl with some garlic oil and some more salt, and then we have some nice garlic pasta. Combined with the garlic bread, we have a nice chubby Italian boy meal. And I'll show that to you guys next week. As many of you know, I'm kind of changing my meals around on like a few monthly basis depending on what I crave, what I want, what I enjoy. You know, we were doing a lot of rice, steak, and cauliflower. Now I'm doing steak, pasta, garlic bread. Who knows if I'll go back to my venison stew next month. We'll see. So I don't have a crazy amount going on in this pantry. It's mainly the cooking ingredients. So at the top here, you guys can see just the organic flour I have way too much of. This box is from uh, Pasha. It's just white chocolate chips. And honestly, th these don't taste too good, but it's really the only white chocolate chip on the market that's organic and the regular chocolate chips which i have down here kind of keep me up sometimes just a little more oil uh the rice that i prefer to have just organic white basmati rice and then here we just have some sugar and molasses back up and there is some coconut milk that we have in the cookies and here i have uh, some water that i've been using for the water kefir you guys said that um starkey has arsenic in it but a lot of times those mom vlogs that post information like that don't have credible sources 
and they're usually just trying to deter people. That being said, I am going back to using Mountain Valley. I'm actually out of water. I have to run to Whole Foods and buy some more. And I'm also looking to find like a wholesale supplier so I don't have to keep spending way too much money on glass bottled water from a retailer. But basically I have some cheaper water that's still bottled that I'll use to like rinse my mouth. I'll use it to wipe my face. Like that's what I'm using the Starkey stuff for. And then I'll drink the Mountain Valley. And then with the Gerolsteiner, I'll put one or two bottles in the water kefir. I try not to use too much of the Gerolsteiner because the calcium content's really high and I do start getting insomnia, but you know, keeping one or two bottles in there does seem to help a lot. I mean, that's really it. That's all I've been eating. Just steak, pasta, bread, the cookies on occasion, keeping it simple. My stomach's been doing pretty well and I'm feeling pretty good. So I'll definitely show you guys the updated meal next week, but just let me know if you guys have any questions. I don't see this changing too much. You know, the theme of lean meat, predominantly carbohydrates, and then, you know, some coconut as fat. Uh, so thanks for joining me today, guys. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank defoncom check out all my businesses, and you guys can support me. Thanks again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.